Well, the Port Authority police are always on the lookout for toll evaders, and when they say they caught one last week, they quickly found out this was not your typical toll cheat. They say this one had close to 300 violations. It is all very frustrating to the Port Authority and costing the agency millions of dollars in lost revenue. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg with more. It looks like something out of a James Bond movie, a license plate that disappears on command. And it's what helped the driver of this BMW avoid paying the toll 292 times at the George Washington Bridge and at other Port Authority crossings. Basically, is automated from the inside of the car. So you push a button and it slides down and covers the license plate. And it's illegal. The driver in this case owes the Port Authority $19,767, including nearly $5,200 in tolls and thousands in outstanding fees. Robin Bramwell Stewart oversees tolling operations for the Port Authority, which is going after cheats in a big way. We are using license plate readers, we're using cameras, we're using um, individual uh, observations by officers and we are tracking data and patterns. Port Authority police issued more than 5,800 summonses last year, a 28% increase from the prior year. And the agency recovered more than $25 million from cheats last year, 14% more than the previous year. The worst violators include a number of trucking companies, one ordered to pay $201,000 money that goes to the upkeep and maintenance of bridges and tunnels. When someone cheats their tolls, it really does impact how much money we have to put back into those facilities and those operations. In the case of this BMW, the driver was arrested, the car impounded. Another reason to just pay the toll. Lauren Glassberg, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And there's still more news ahead. Eyewitness News at 5 starts right now. Right now, it's New York's number one news with Bill Ritter and Sade Veteran Wah and media.